My name is Paige Gretchel and I am a dancer at heart, specializing in contemporary and modern dance as well as ballet. I'm fortunate enough to get to teach at the Houston Ballet in our academy and our education and community engagement program. I'm also a part of the University of Houston community as a graduate student in arts leadership. Today, I am at Trenton Doyle Hancock's Legend, which is a mural at the University of Houston downtown campus. I chose this piece, A, because I love all the twists and turns that are present in it and how you can never really find an ending point and stopping point. But I feel like so much of dance is kind of about creating a piece without any, with clear beginning and end, or definitely middles, but with it, those structures also a never ending mind of movement and creativity. I also feel like dance as a journey is something that never ends. You never really feel like you've made it. Once you do, there's always something else to dream about and to reach for. And I feel like that's what this artwork is. It's just uh, a visual representation of a never ending journey. I got the privilege to go to Booker T. Washington High School for the performing and a visual arts. Um, and that experience absolutely changed my life. I saw dance as something that was healing as a community that could walk with me through everything. Dance benefits my overall mental health and wellness by just providing an outlet to be able to escape from everything hard going on in life and to celebrate the things that are really exciting. I think that the arts are important to include in your everyday life for so many reasons. Um, physical activity in art releases so many endorphins and, and that is also a um, Pilates structure as well. And I think dance and Pilates go really well together and that is that physical health is just as important as mental health and spiritual health and feeding your body and all of that. Uh, so I believe that the arts is important for moving your body um, and learning how to use your body. I think it's so important to be able to know where you are in space, to hold yourself, because I feel like participating in artists in any fashion helps me center my mind and just open my, my brain to new ideas. Uh, I also think that Everyone should have arts in their daily life just because of the impacts it has on your brain and your ability to focus and comprehend and reach new ideas and everything of that nature. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a rond de jambe. Rond de jambe means circle of the leg in a big classical ballet step. What I love the most about dance is taking classical timeless steps and turn them into something more contemporary and big and fun, moving your whole body. So the simplest version of a rond de jambe is taking that foot forward and circling it around to the back. Forward and circling it around. So we can take it and turn our bodies and turn that leg out a little bit. Taking the heel forward and then all the way back around. Forward and then all the way back around. Taking it into a bent leg, sweeping the arms across. Still having that circle of the leg, but this time getting to add in a little upper body. If you want to make it really fun, you can take it off the floor all the way around. And if you're feeling really savvy today, you can turn it into a turn. And that's a run, Jean. I hope you give it a try, whether it's the beginning, intermediate, or advanced version, and feel free and move your body.
everyone, my name is Paige. I am a dancer and I thank you for pausing with me today and with Public Art UHS.